my bed looks so messy in the background can i change this background a bit hi guys welcome back to a new video i am finally filming a haul i think it has been like so i don't know it's just been so long since i filmed a haul which is just it annoys me because like fashion is the thing i love so <laughs> i need to try and get more ha hauls out but basically this one is like a comfy kind of casual haul and i've got i'm gonna film another one that is a night out haul and then i'm also gonna be filming like a spring converting to spring kind of haul so hopefully i've got a lot planned that i can get around to filming when i've got a bit less a bit more kind of free time yeah let's just get on with the haul <laughs> so there is a lot of like these clothes are just comfy and like street style kind of thing the first thing the first thing i have is this button up little top i'm gonna do it up so you can get a better view of it actually so it's this little like button up um cotton shirt it just it's really simple it's a nice stone color it's from misguided it was really cheap and i like wearing this with joggers like gray joggers i think it looks really cool and um, with like other pale colors so like gray joggers or um blue mom jeans love that i think it looks really cute and it's kind of like I don't know it's just it's really flattering on like it really like hugs your curves and just yeah I really like this top so it's just a good basic like I just think it's so good to have a lot of basics in your wardrobe so you can mix and match stuff which is what this haul kind of is the next thing I have is from a brand called Sisters and Seekers you've probably heard of them on Instagram um, I am obsessed with them I think they do the coolest stuff they're a bit more pricey than like misguided pretty little thing prices but yeah i think it's defo worth it if you want like a nice piece so i got this um sweater at like christmas time now i think it's got this like really cool picture i don't know who it is on the front but they're like i think it's like a celebrity picture and it says i'm still on your netflix which it's cringy but i just think it looks so cool i love wearing big oversized sweaters i just i think it just looks good and it's so good for you when you just want to look fashionable but you don't really want to put in much effort so just fling this on with a pair of like leather trousers and you're done um only thing is the picture has faded quite a bit when i've washed it which i'm not exactly like thrilled about but I'm taking my glasses off because they're annoying me um yeah so i'm not thrilled about the fact it's faded but i don't know i, I would still buy it again because i just think it looks cool and it's a nice color see i'm really enjoying my nude colors at the moment so yeah love this sisters and seekers also if you want to see like these um like pieces of clothing in picture then go over to my instagram it's at in banks and i think literally all of these are on there yeah that they're, they're all in some kind of picture i think most of them so yeah if you want to see the gram pics go over to my gram um so this is a little crop cropped crop <laughs> cropped hoodie from pretty little thing i love it because it's got this like paneling it's cropped black really cozy it's got a hood on it i love wearing like these kind of things to uni so i'll wear this with some black joggers with a stripe down the side and it just makes a cord which is great it was really cheap um if it wasn't for the white stripe i probably wouldn't have bought it but i think the white stripe on either sleeve just makes it look so much cooler um and it just looks really good as a cord so i definitely recommend these kind of just basics for your wardrobe if you want to like make looks if you want to make comfy looks but that look pulled together just get loads of basics and then like kind of go with the same tone of color on your bottoms and tops and it just looks like it just looks great straight away so yeah love this it's from pretty little thing and they do a lot of good um sweaters and hoodies on pretty little thing i've got another one to show you this um is a lot of sweaters so if you don't like the sweater game um yeah tune out <laughs> next i've got which you will see on my instagram i've got these leather trousers which are from misguided they're like biker style they've got this paneling down the front which i'm just a massive fan of and these zips that actually like open and close but you can't see your leg through them if that makes sense and um, they're high-waisted i am not particularly a fan of like the top bit i think it looks a bit cheap so what i do is i wear like a really big oversized sweater like over the top of them so it hides this top bit because i don't know why when it's done up on me it just looks tacky whereas i really like the bottom half of them so yeah i just have like the leg part showing underneath a big sweater i think they look really cool um these are definitely not the most practical trousers ever because they make you sweat a lot um because they're that kind of material it like just makes my legs sweat so when i'm walking to uni i'm like oh god like i'm sweating but they do look nice and they weren't too expensive either when i got them my housemate was like you are not going to wear them but i've actually worn them a lot especially over christmas and stuff so i'm really happy i bought them and i think like you can't go black you, you can't go wrong with like a black trouser do they just they just look great um and they've also got the little zip 
paneling on the ankle as well so you can actually have it undone to like make it wider or straight I always have it done up because I like how it looks when it's really tight on my legs but yeah you can make it like a bit baggier at the ankle then I have another <laughs> sweater from Pretty Little Thing you'll have seen this a lot on my Instagram so it's literally just this like plain <laughs> white sweater it's really cheap Pretty Little Thing it's in the basic section and um, there's literally nothing special about it but I just love how this looks with joggers or like a pale bottom so on my Instagram I was wearing this with um, grey joggers which I'll show you in a minute and I just love how it looks because it's kind of like a coward vibe um, but with slightly different tones so yeah I like wearing this um for uni with joggers and then a crossbody bag I think that looks really cool um did I get that down I need to show you that bag at some point you do have to be careful with it though because of makeup I think I think white is like my favorite color on a sweater because it looks so fresh and when you're tanned it just looks mint but the makeup is a problem so you have to be very careful and I do end up washing this a lot but it stayed in good condition so yeah, I rate it and it's good for the money, like they're really cheap. So yeah, with this, I wear these grey joggers, which honestly, I'm obsessed with. Um, they're just literally the pretty little thing, basics ones again. I think they're called like the casual jogger or something. So they really like are really tight at the top, really tight at the bottom, which I love. And they're so comfy. But um, I got these in a small, but they kind of like... Gr I don't know it kind of like it's not very extremely flattering around like the crotch area but to be honest I don't really care that much but if I was to buy them again I would get a medium so because it just seems like the top bit is quite like short like I'd rather than be a bit higher up on my waist um but yeah I don't really care I make them work so I'm about five foot three so I think go for a medium it's definitely a better size um yeah they're so comfy I love the grey colour it's kind of like a muted really really pale grey and um, I've washed these a lot of times now and they are still in really good condition and I love them they're the comfiest things like for uni they are a vibe I'm so happy um joggers are a trend again like a trend because it just makes life so easy and so comfy when you're a uni student it's all about deciding what you're gonna wear a lot and what you won't wear like if you know you're gonna wear something like this all the time it's definitely worth investing the money so i've got this which is definitely more expensive than the most expensive well one of the most expensive things that i'm gonna show you but it is this champion hoodie we've all seen these sweaters we've all seen these a million times but I don't know I think like I just said if you're going to wear something a lot then it's definitely worth spending the money I've worn this to death like I wear it to uni I wear it to the gym I wear it like just day to day and it's just served me well um this is a small I think but if I was buying it again I'd get a medium because it kind of is not quite oversized enough for me um but I do love it I love how it's just simple they're really good quality like you do notice the quality with expensive sweaters and I've got this little bodysuit from Pretty Little Thing um it's literally just like a turtle um like a stone coloured camel coloured turtleneck and I like this with um blue bomb jeans because the colours just go really nicely together the model on Pretty Little Thing was actually wearing um this with blue mom jeans and I just liked how it looks so yeah, picked this up. It was really cheap. I think it was like ten, twelve pounds. So yeah, it's just a good, like I said, good to have these basics in your wardrobe. It's, it's not exactly casual, but I've made it look casual. Mm, I kind of like casualed it down. So what I did basically, I got this black bodysuit from Nasty Gal, and I, you can see it on my Instagram, I put a like white, um, just a plain long sleeve T-shirt underneath, and it just looked so cool like I was really happy with how it looked I tucked it into blue mom jeans so yeah this it looks really nice if you wear a white or black t-shirt underneath um it just makes it a day look that's why I like this because it's so versatile like you could wear it like you could wear it as underwear you could wear it in the day with a t-shirt like what I did and then also like I always wear these out at night for nightclubs and stuff when I'm going on nights out and stuff um I think I'm gonna wear this on Saturday when I'm going for drinks it's just perfect like and the black one I've got the pink version is it pink like orange and you do need to wear nipple covers with that but the black one you can get away with not doing if you don't want to but yeah if you feel more comfortable get nipple covers to go with it but yeah it's beautiful it's like this sheer lace paneling it's kind of got this fake underwired bit here and then that is like the main body part only problem is it doesn't have poppers which is so annoying for the toilet situation but 
it's worth it because it looks patterned and I'm obsessed with it. Also, Nasty Gal is doing like 40% off. Well, it was when I bought this. So this was literally a tenner. You being me, being like the clumsy like who I am, I've already got a hole in it. So great. <laughs> got this massive, oh, I just love this. This massive coat from Topshop. It's quite long. It's really furry. And it's just this, yeah, it's just like a massive nude teddy coat, which I'm obsessed with. It's got this like gorgeous satin, satin? satin satin lining it's pink and the outside is this like teddy color i love it so much i haven't worn this as much as i thought i would but i'm not bothered because i do think that coats are like investment pieces um so i will have this for years and years because topshop coats are the best quality honestly they're so good so i'm really happy i did buy this because i know i'll have it for years and years and i think these will stay in fashion for a long time as well um it was quite expensive, obviously, because Topshop coats are not the cheapest, or coats in general are not cheap. But yeah, I love it. It's so furry and just, it's, it just reminds me of a little teddy. And then for shoes, oh my god, right? So I got some new like Adidas Falcons, which are literally like the loves of my life. Um, they made every outfit the best outfit ever, but I've literally ruined them somehow with stain remover. Um, I don't know if it was the stain remover, I've then put them in the dryer, so I think it's just completely messed them up. But they're basically just gone brown, so we're not going to speak about it. We're going to brush it aside and hopefully I can save up some new ones. Do these ones instead. These are black pumas, very simple. Got these from um, ASOS. They, I really like them actually, they're really cool. I like the detailing on them. Um, they weren't too expensive. I mostly wear these to the gym actually, but uh, I do really like how they look. They look very pulled together and yeah, I just think Puma trainers, you can't go really go wrong. I don't know if I should really, maybe I shouldn't show you these ones because they are not exactly like a casual day wear thing. Okay, so I'll just give you a little glimpse. I've got some new boots, um, but yeah, you'll have to watch the next haul to see where they're from because they're literally my babies and I've been looking for some like that for so long. I'm literally like sat with just a top on and my pants on because um, I'm trying to let my fake dry, tan dry and I'm really worried it's going to smudge onto my joggers and my jeans if I put on jeans so um, <laughs> just got this top on for the camera you know. This bag that I got for Christmas and it's literally, I think this, is, this and my Ferrari backpack are my favourite bags I've just ever had. Um, I just love it. It's literally from Topshop but I think it looks so she can like designer if you put it cross body i think that immediately makes a bag look designer i don't know why i just think it looks cool um so it's kind of like what designer is this copying i think it might be prada yeah i think it's prada um yeah this is what it looks like up close and then it's got this really nice clasp at the front that has like two compartments a bit of chain here and then the really nice strap um you obviously cannot fit a lot in this so this is definitely like my night out flat bag or just a day bag if I'm not carrying my like vlogging camera around with me um because it fits like ID, money, phone, like earphones, that kind of thing and a lipstick. It's really not big at all but I honestly love it. I think it just looks so vintage and chic and Topshop really came through with the bags this year. I was very very impressed. My mum got me this for Christmas and I was absolutely buzzing. Um, so yeah, this is the last thing I've got to show you. I would definitely recommend getting this because they're not even expensive in Topshop. I don't find the bags particularly overpriced at all. So the last thing I want to show you is not really like a clothing, well it's not, it's an accessory, but it's this, uh, focus please, it's this Nosoma necklace. Honestly, I am just obsessed with it. I think it is beautiful. Um, I got this for like one of my 21st presents from my mum and I just wear it every single day because I just think it is so stunning. Um, I would definitely really recommend Miss Oma if you're looking for a really good quality um, piece of jewellery because they just last. Oh, it's like it, the quality is just amazing. Um, the actual chain is so delicate and so thin, but it just you can just tell it's not going to break. Like it's so sturdy. Um, and I've worn this every single day since November, and it's not broken. It's not tarnished. Um, well, obviously for the money it shouldn't because it's expensive, but yeah, just a little, if you're looking for some like layering necklaces, Masoma, and if you've got a little bit of money to spend on jewellery or it's your birthday or something, Masoma is honestly 
the best place to go so yeah just a little side note i love it it's beautiful also i've got this sweater it's an umbro one um it's cropped like a kind of fleece thing but i got this from a vintage shop in lincoln so i'm not going to make a big deal out of it because you probably can't get it it's kind of just like this cropped um sweater blue color thank you so much for watching um i'm glad i finally got around to filming this haul so i'm gonna film another night out one and um a kind of like spring winter spring kind of transitional floaty dresses kind of thing um one soon when i've got like a few more bits together because at the moment i'm poor f and can't afford clothes so i literally just bought this i should not have bought it at all because i'm so poor um so <laughs> thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe down below if you're new and i'll see you very soon in um, my next vlog probably and then yeah like i said i'll try and get some hauls out to you guys soon so yeah see you soon Mwah.